Welcome to the Hacksplaining video tutorial series. This video will demonstrate how an attacker can abuse your authentication function to test whether a username exists on your site. Many types of attack on websites are concerned with bypassing the authentication system. Logging into a site usually requires that a user supply a username and a password. If an attacker can harvest the list of usernames for a site, they have half the authentication information they need to access those accounts. Guessing passwords is harder, but possible. An attacker will use tools to brute force common passwords, or if your usernames are email addresses, they might use social engineering to trick users into revealing their password. Your site will be more secure if an attacker cannot probe it for usernames. Let's look at some common ways that sites leak information about what is and isn't a valid username. If your login page has different error messages for unrecognized usernames and incorrect passwords, an attacker can write a script to submit usernames and test the response. A safer approach is to return a generic error message when a login attempt fails. If it takes longer to check a correct username and an incorrect password, a clever attacker will be able to spot the difference. <laughs> Make sure all login code paths take about the same time on average. For instance, perform time-consuming operations like password hashing even when you know the username is wrong. Make sure that everything in the HTTP response is identical in all login failure scenarios too. Be sure not to respond with a cookie unless both the username and password are correct. Password reset pages are another avenue of attack. If somebody tries to reset a password for an unknown username, some sites will respond with a message indicating that the account does not exist. Try to avoid this. If your password reset process involves sending an email, have the user enter their email address. Then send an email with a password reset link if the account exists, and a sign-up email if it's a new email address. Same deal with registration pages. Try to avoid having your site tell people that a supplied username is already taken. If your usernames are email addresses, send a password reset email when a user absent-mindedly tries to sign up a second time. If usernames need to be unique but are not email addresses, protect your sign-up page with some sort of capture. This will make it very difficult for an attacker to mine username information with a script. If you are very security-minded, consider adding an exponential back-off after each failed login attempt, so subsequent retries take longer and longer. Lastly, if each user is granted a unique URL, for example, for user profile pages, make sure an attacker cannot enumerate usernames. It might seem like a good idea to differentiate responses with HTTP 404, not found, and HTTP 403, forbidden, but this leaks information. Leaking user information makes hacking your site much easier. Click on the link to learn how to protect yourself, or move on to the next video.